up, beautiful people? Sherry here from the Flex Giving Crew. Okay, so this is going to be um, a reading for July the 7th until the 21st. Um, so I'm going to be going to my son's wedding. Um, so we're going to be leaving um, probably on Sunday. So this is your last chance uh, for a reading before I go because I won't be... Um, checking my email and that kind of thing so um, unless it's like an emergency type situation and you need a reading then I may do it all right um, so I'm, I think I'm gonna switch it up I'm gonna use a John Holland deck and the call it Baron Reed as well um, just alternate the cards a little bit why not be a little different um, so I'm thinking also that I might branch into general readings uh, for zodiac signs. Uh, so that'll probably start when I get back, obviously. Um, so it, I will have to, um, um, you know, cut an aspect of the, the Twin Flame readings out in order to make room for this new general reading. So that is, uh, I'll probably be cutting out the Divine fa uh, Feminine and Masculine um, and I mean the redundant anyway because they they seem to be just repeating what the main uh, reading already said so um, you know this is still in the thought stage so we'll see how it goes okay so I'm going to be using my cards for confirmation John Holland and call it Baron Reed all right, so let's begin with the call it Baron Reed. Um, so for the past position for the feminine, goblins. So I'm going to read it to you, and then I'm going to pull the three clarifier cards that go with it. Oh, boy. Okay. So number five. So past position. So this an, is an energy that uh, we're bringing into the um, you know, the present moment. It's still energy surrounding us. Or, I'm saying us, because feminine. Um, just so you know, um, you know, it doesn't matter if you're feminine or masculine. It's, you know, whatever side resonates with you is the side, um, the message that was meant for you. Okay, so, fear is an illusion. Choose love today. Forgive yourself and others. Go uh, goblins are born when... Um, you're wounded and something essential is lost in the experience from that point on as you forget your wholeness they remain with you in the shadows there they remind you of what brought them into being by mimicking your own voice tricking you into believing that you're unworthy victimized and unlovable they hold you hostage uh, through low self-esteem self-sabotage and the feeling that you're lacking what you need if goblins pay you a visit, know that they represent the shadow, <laughs> the shadow of your own self or someone else's, and that they're leading you into a potentially reactive situation. A goblin's card appearance is an opportunity for growth, however, and a signal that you must love yourself. No human is without flaws. Uh, the goblin's message is that you must release resentment and negativity, sorry, negative self-talk. Within you is a spark of the divine. Ask spirit to heal you. Miracles can and do happen. Let go of the negativity. So the feminine, um, you know, it's like um, I'm feeling like they're they're giving up hope. They're they're um, giving in to the the ego side or the shadow side of themselves. So they're listening to those voices. Um, so you know, there's a sense that the feminine is being tested. Um, so, but it is a past position, so maybe we've made it through the Goblin Forest. Let's see. Four Pentacles. High Priestess, very nice. And future position is the Six of Pentacles. Um, so there's a timeline, past, present, and future with the clarifiers. Um, so past position, Four of Pentacles. This is being closed off, um, holding on too tightly to something. Um, and so it's a pentacle energy so this is earth so it has something to do with in 3d so you're not allowing um, someone into your life um, or you're holding on too tightly like I said so the present position is the high priestess 
So this is someone who's highly intuitive, um, psychic. They use their third eye in order to connect to their higher conscious or their, the subconscious mind. So I'm seeing illumination from this darkness, from this fear. And, <clears throat> sorry, um, when the feminine turns in, she listens to her intuition and that guides her out of the goblin forest. Um, so she sees how fear is just an illusion. And so um, there is an awakening that, that I see here. Um, not being, you know, she's being tested, but she's not being fooled. The Six of Pentacles is in the future position. So this could mean, you know, sharing your life with the Divine Masculine in the 3D. But um, really this is a sharing of energy, a sharing of resources. Um, so it's an opening energy. It's, you know, giving without expectation. Uh, and when the universe senses a void, it fills that void with abundance or negative energy, all depending on what you're putting out, right? Law of attraction. What you put out, you get back. Um, so I feel that there's, you know, an influx of abundance as a result of opening up. This is closing off. This is opening up. And this is using your intuition in order to guide you out of that closed off state, that fear. Okay, his past position. Protecting treasures, 39. So, you know, this is, this talks about being divinely guided. Um, you know, your, if you trust in spirit, it will guide you where you need to go. Okay, protecting treasures. You are always protected and divinely directed. Although this is a time of great risk, know that at a fundamental level, you are able to move forward safely and securely. The proverbial de nest egg is safe and sound no matter the fluctuations in the outer world. Guardian angels and other guides are whispering to you, uh, making you aware of their protective presence. Your loyalty is an important theme now. Nurture that which you hold dear. This is a good time to strengthen bonds of friendships and ensure their integrity. If you feel tested right now, know that it is a true and loyal heart. Um, that a true and loyal heart always achieves its aim. Take refuge under an angel's wing. You are not alone and have no need to fear. Embrace your courage. So there's a mirroring here, you know, a fear. Um, however, goblins are whispering in the feminine's ear while angels are whispering in the masculine's ear. That's so not fair. But either way, just know that you are protected on this journey. Um, and spirit is looking out for you, has your back. Strength card, ace of pentacles, and the knight of pentacles. So strength card this is using love kindness and compassion in order to deal with the situation so it's a gentle nurturing loving energy um, and it's using alchemy um, to transmute a negative situation into a positive situation so you're giving you're being given a gentle nudge encouragement um, and also this shows that you've been very loving and open with uh, your emotions in order to foster you know an environment where people can grow so it's not an exertion of your will onto the external world it is going within and calming the beast um so a very gentle loving energy coming from the masculine's past position um so uh the ace of pentacles is present position so this is a brand new beginning of love or not love, sorry, it's a brand new beginning in the 3D. So you're being offered a gift from the universe and it's up to you whether or not you're going to take that gift and, um, you know, plant it and grow it, you know. And quite obviously that is what you do with the Knight of Pentacles. However, um, so this could be like a new job, moving to a different location, um, having a new business idea, or just starting that new life, you know, with your feminine making that choice to do so. Um, so it seems to me that there was, you know, an acceptance of an offer um, on some level in a movement forward with the Knight of Pentacles, taking that pentacle um, and not only putting plans, um, you know, formulating plans and for that long-term manifestation of the Ten of Pentacles, but 
moving forward. So it's a it's very steady forward movement, one step at a time. And this knight always arrives at his destination. So from the masculine side, there's, you know, he's been given an idea, an opportunity. And he's taking that opportunity and, and he's moving forward with it. And, you know, he feels divinely directed and guided. And although this process takes a long time, um, it is worth worth the prize at the end. Okay, so, you know, there's a sub-message there of not rushing in um, just to allow things to unfold as they should, but there is action required. Okay, so the feminine's present position, I'm going to use a John Holland, Six of Cups, Memories of Love. Um, so, in the Rider Waite deck, this card represents reunion. It's somebody from your past coming back. Um, somebody that you've known in childhood or past life. So it's innocent, pure love. I'm sorry if you can hear the kids playing outside. I might have to shut the window. But anyway, um, it's pure, innocent love, okay? And it's holding that love within you. Now, in the John Holland deck, it talks about memories of love. So there, the feminine um, is reminiscing about this connection with the masculine, holds these memories uh, with her and is reminiscing, you know, about the connection. The Magician, Two of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. So the Magician, past position, this is power. This is um, crown chakra activation. It's having the power to draw ideas, visions, um, dreams, you know, thoughts and visions, really, um, from source. Um, and pull it into the material world. So it's manifestation. Um, and so it's, you know, realizing that you have the power to create the reality that you desire. Okay, and the re reality, reality that she's desiring to create is this reunion, this love, that, you know, she desires it to come walking through that door. <laughs> um, so the Two of Wands represents making a decision in the past that was based on your higher calling, your spirituality. And so that decision, decision has already been made. So you're waiting. You're waiting for that return, that energy to come back to you. Um, so in the future position, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Um, so this is an Earth energy. However, I'm feeling more of it being a connection to the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, from the masculine energy, he would arrive as the King of Pentacles. And uh, here we have the Queen in the future position. So. Um, this is you in the 3D, um, you know, the one that the masculine can hold and feel and touch and caress. Um, so you are being brought into the 3D in the future position. You're being drawn in. Um, it's almost like you are waiting for the masculine to walk through that door in the 3D form. So I'm not sure why this energy is here just yet. We'll see what the rest of the cards say. Um, but this card does represent harvest, um, that, you know, the completion. Um, however, I'm looking more for the either the, the Ten of Pentacles or the King of Pentacles. Um, so here we have a woman who is... Um, independent, who can look after herself. She has enough wealth and abundance that she can, you know, enjoy the finer things in life. She enjoys luxury. Uh, so this is a card very much about looking after yourself. It's self-love and, you know, getting massage if you desire so. Um, so she also has, a, in, you know, um, abundance coming in. So she is one who would share her abundance with all so I'm seeing now the connection, okay? Since you were open to giving in the past, that energy will be returned to you in the future uh, tenfold. So um, the thing that you've been waiting for, that security, that, you know, that abundance, that grounded energy will come towards you. Now, whether or not it brings with it that masculine or feminine energy that you're desiring from the past remains to be seen. So <clears throat> the um, um, masculine's present position, wow, six of pentacles. 
So that's the same card. Now, in this card is in your future past position. So it's energy that's being brought into the present. And here we have this main energy of the Six of Pentacles, the masculine in the 3D, um, feeling optimistic, feeling grounded, feeling like he's successful, that he's moving along at a steady pace. Um, so this is an open energy, being closed off to then being open. Okay, so this could be the masculine um, who was closed off and the feminine kept her third eye chakra open and did not interact or allow those goblins, those thoughts, those voices to, to deter her. Um, so here again, Six of Pentacles. This is uh, sharing your your abundance, your wealth, and um, being open to receiving as well. Okay, so it's an even exchange of energy. It's priming the pump of gratitude. Um, so let's pull the three hearts. The King of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Hermit. So past position, King of Wands. The king of no fucks given. Okay, so this could represent a fire sign. Uh, but this really is the masculine becoming powerful, stepping into this, um, you know, spiritual leader type role. Someone who would actually lead a, a revolution. Uh, they are unattached from society. And, you know, they don't... Um, you know, they're rule breakers. They make their own rules. Um, they are free spirited, very charismatic, um, powerful. So um, he is the center of the sun. So a lot of masculine, fiery, passionate energy here. So, you know, this is also like entrepreneur type of energy. It's like having ideas and um, you know, that are more in line with spirituality and your true authentic self. So it's an empowerment and it is almost like, you know, he's trying to manifest a, a 3D reality that is, uh, that has to do with, um, you know, spirituality and his truth. Um, so center position, present, present. We have the nine of pentacles. Wow. He's almost there, you know, the, he's taken that Ace of Pentacles, he's planted it. Um, the main energy is the Six of Pentacles, so it's gotten to a point where, you know, you're starting to see the fruits of your labor. Um, the Nine of Pentacles uh, is harvest, uh, so it is, you know, the fruit is ripe, it's ready to drop from the branches. So this is independence, freedom, uh, very similar energy to the Queen of Pentacles. Um, however, you know, this is about to arrive. Um, so it is having enough money coming in in order to enjoy life, you know, be free to travel, be free to go to the most expensive restaurants, you know, just splurge. Um, so again, it is energy of looking after yourself. It is self-love. So because the main energy card is the Six of Pentacles, um, I would say that this is something that he's about to achieve. He feels that harvest is near. Um, so right now, the 3D world is very important um, for both aspects. So this is, you know, also the cohabitation card. It's wanting to share your life with somebody in the 3D future position. We have the hermit. So we've got two, uh, two cards that represent being unattached from the 3D world. Um, it's empowerment. This is um, spirituality, um, but it is, you know, exerting your power onto the world. It's changing things. Uh, whereas this is also spirituality. However, it's a movement in it's a movement to, uh, to find your light within. So this is solitude. This is someone who de detaches from the 3D world uh, in order to find themselves, their, find their light. Uh, and um, so it's gaining great wisdom and insight from stillness. So there's a sense that he wants to find his independence and 
um, ultimately does on some level, which allows him to disconnect from any chains, any attachments um, that are holding him back in the 3D. Both of these cards are, in, all three cards are independent cards. Okay, so near future position, making a choice. So that's similar energy to the Two of Swords. Okay. Making a choice. You're required to come to a decision now. You're faced with a dilemma or a fork in the road, and you must make a conscious choice regarding your next right action. Whatever that choice is, you must take responsibility for it. Yet, you needn't be afraid. You may not have all the answers right now because the way ahead can't be known until you've embarked and traveled a few steps. Trust your intuition. <clears throat> Sorry, your intuition. I've been talking all day. My bad. Um, trust your intuition. Ask for signs from spirit and you'll be led down the right path. If you remain conscious and aware, your choice will be the right one at this time. Life is always about learning. Success lies in choosing consciously guided by intuition and spirit and that's what you know you used to draw you out of the goblins forest it was a test and you're being retested again in the future so you used your intuition so continue to do so the full card wow wow judgment oh my god <laughs> wow that is incredible that it, there's massive illumination here and I'm kind of freaked out because I just finished doing a private reading and the fool card with I can't remember the, what the center card was but it wasn't the judgment card and the world card at the end so you know there was this um, rapid transition that occurred and I never seen that before <clears throat> so in the near future there is going to be a rapid change <laughs> Okay, so you're going to be left with a choice, a fork in the road. So here you are being represented as um, the fool about to embark on a journey. Okay, and so this is starting from zero. Um, this is you looking at these two choices. Um, now, the point of this card is not to, to see them as a choice, uh, just to take that step. Um, allow um, you know your intuition to guide you what feels right for you at that moment and just take that leap of faith and trust that destiny uh, will bring you exactly where you need to go so very similar energies here however the fool is not having any expectations not um, he has no life experiences in order to see the dangers in the road he just trusts, he takes that step like a brand new, you know, newborn baby. No expectations, no attachments. And because it's coming in your past position, this is telling me that you are ready, you know, that you are um, open um, to starting an entirely different life that you've desired to manifest that you've already started to manifest you know just this unattached to the 3d life it's just pure freedom what i see here so you know you you, you take that leap of faith you trust your gut instinct and uh you try uh, you choose you know awakening consciousness illumination so the uh, judgment card is in the present position near future so it's like you know you're standing there on this precipice and um, it's very similar to having your life being flashed before your eyes um, just before you die you know that kind of thing it's you know your life is played on a projector on the screen and it's like you have this massive epiphany um, in this moment and so it's realizing again that you have the power to manifest so your life it's like it comes together uh, and forms in front of your very eyes is what I see here because there is such a rapid transition to this completion of a cycle um, so this is a cycle from 20 years to a lifetime so it is 
you know, going through all the stages of the fool's journey of enlightenment and, you know, arriving at that grand conclusion, that climax. And so <clears throat> you choose to put that final piece in the pu of the puzzle in place. You choose a life that is true to yourself. You, true, you choose your authentic self. Um, and like I said, that final piece is then placed. Okay, so his near future, wide open. So, you know, this is expressing yourself. This is, you know, um, going to the top of a mountain and screaming your desires and your, how you feel to the world. It's empowerment, very similar to this energy here, you know, and being free, being um, like a leader, but living your own life and you know if you want to go to the top of the mountain scream then go ahead nothing's stopping you okay wide open we are free to express your sorry you are free to express your uniqueness to the world and share in all the bounty of life life's endless possibilities all manner of opportunities are presented to you at this time the wide open card is a signal that you're able to truly manifest your dreams and your goals are in sight. Don't remain small and contracted. Instead, expand your horizons beyond what you believe to be your limitations. You have a unique voice that needs to be expressed to the world. The universe is supportive of new ideas and approaches at this time, so speak up and speak out. This card is a sign of a maverick who freely roams the wide open spaces and possibility allow for a greater vision to replace old ideas as you dream a grander dream did i not just say the free spirit maverick if you want to run up to the top of the mountain do it it's freedom Ex oh my god it's awesome expansion mirroring this as well you know freedom expansion awakening illumination um and uh, realizing that when you look at the universe, it is the, you know, you are the universe looking back at yourself. You know, it's the same feeling here as well. Expansion, same idea, seeing all the possibilities, um, you know, really vibrating that, that field. You know, there's this massive electric, magnetic field or impulse that I see here and it's like it literally whatever you wanted manifested whatever you wanted to walk through that door walks through that door <laughs> however you got to trust and believe and have faith in destiny because wow okay so wide open five of wands wow tower and the two pentacles past position so this is overcoming obstacles challenges yes he did great he you know he took it one step at a time um and he he achieved much right so he's overcome a lot of obstacles challenges um so this is meant to make your light shine brighter it is um competition friendly competition um, it's a growth card. So he's overcome. He feels empowered. Uh, the tower is in the present position. So this is the house of cards. Um, a slight gust of wind um, will easily knock it down. Okay, so there is change coming in the future. He takes that ace of pentacles. Not only is he growing it, but that change is um, transforming his 3d world it is knocking down this old identity this old life anything built on an illusion um, was meant to come down and it does come down and from that ending is a rebirth so that a new strong solid foundation can be built on it so the two Pentacles represents the wind of change um, so you know it's transformation and a feeling of being unsteady while that transformation occurs um, but it's a welcomed energy quite obviously because it 
it is releasing the masculine it is freeing him um, it's expanding him this is constriction this is opening that I see here again very similar energy to being closed off being open um, so yeah one step at a time release what you no longer need allow the tower to change and transform your life free you so final come for the feminine solitude there we go so um, you know I'm seeing this solitude on the feminine side very much so it's um, you know the hermit is also showing up over here in the future <clears throat> but um, I, I really see like a surrender it's almost like you're waiting for that moment you've accomplished this illumination you made the decision you've detached yourself from the 3d is what I see here um, and you're you know seeking wisdom knowledge and you're just really connected to source um, you, you don't desire anything there's nothing out there can that can make you feel whole and because you're in this solitude this stillness um, that is you know what brings abundance back into your life over and over and over again you know I see success at every level abundance is always the last card because of the choices that you made the two of wands is very similar energy to this um, you know call it Baron Reed 30 making a choice making a choice which road are you going to choose you've already chosen you already want this you know more spiritual life and have it manifested into the 3d and like I said that is coming to you so the three cards for confirmation ten of pentacles wow seven of wands awesome and the ten of wands so two tens completion massive completion future remember what I said 20 years to a lifetime so 10 20 20 years grand illumination right here so this is a result of all the work that you've done all the knowledge you've acquired has brought you to this completed state so the ten of pentacles is that long-term goal you know it's achievement success uh, not having to worry about money anymore but not you know being attached to it just having abundance coming in and, um, and and that frees you up in order to spend time with your friends and family so it's, it is grounded energy and success and is home home here the seven of wands present position for the final outcome this is very similar energy to this wide open it's speaking up speaking out expressing yourself empowerment being the king of the hill um, so this card also represents you know not giving up knowing what you want and hanging in there and look at that you manifest it okay not only do you arrive at this ten, ten of Pentacles this massive completion but it is the end to the burden it is you know the end to the exhaustion um, so we got an 11 um, and you know to go further with this card this is being caught in the machine right it's similar energies to the hermit it is detachment from that that um, you know drive to look after everybody else and sacrifice your own life uh, in turn so it's no more of that that's done now I'm gonna allow you know this new life this new um, you know ending to be what I've always wanted it to be you know my true authentic life okay final outcome for the masculine five of cups emotional loss I'm very surprised to see this card in this position now I, it's you know very similar to the four of pentacles this is somebody being closed off um, however the uh, five of cups represents emotion so it's a closed off heart 
which doesn't make sense with this wide open. So um, either this represents him arriving at, you know, um, you know, coming to the, the feminine in a vulnerable state, or he's opening up, or I don't see him closing off. There's no way. So let's see what the confirmation cards are. Nice. The Ace of Wands. Nice. Sacral Chakra. And Seven of Swords. Okay. Not expecting this. So I'm going to pull an Osho card um, for further confirmation. Um, so we have the Ace of Wands. Uh, this is coming in the past position. So this is go time. Go light. It is, you know very similar energy to the tower it's it's walking away from the machine you know the 10 completes and reduces to one so you guys are mirroring each other so um but this is coming in the past position so from this ending you know the old life needed to be released in order for that new to come in so um this is that spark that new beginning the conjuluni awakening um and uh it it has to do with the spiritual your spiritual calling your higher purpose right um this card also represents um the golden thread that connects the twins but also connects the crown chakra to source so there is a direct connection here even though there's a sense of pain and loss mourning um, that is understandable because of the tower. Um, it took great strength in order to overcome that and allow that transformation. So this is healing. Um, but I really feel that there is an opening, you know, not a closing off. Um, and I'm saying that because there is, you know, the sacral chakra is activated, but also a kundalini awakening. There's so much spiritual vibration and fire you know with these two cards um that he has no choice but to fully open his heart and let go of any fears the seven of swords in the future position is deception it's feeling like somebody's going to stab you in the back like they're going to hurt you so it's those old fears creeping up voices in your head you know um so let's pull an Osho Zen card for that. Spirit, what do you mean by the Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords for the Divine Masculine as a final outcome? No thingness. Wow, the High Priest. Beautiful. So it's transcendence. It's illumination. He embodies the high priest. Down here we have the high priestess. So it's a feminine masculine bonded by that golden thread in the 5D. Um, so this also represents wanting no things, no attachments, no fears. Um, so let, let me read it for you. Oops. Uh, okay. okay, so I guess I don't really have to hold it up for you, but you can stare into the darkness. Okay, being in the gap can be disorienting and even scary. Nothing to hold on to, no sense of direction, not even a hint of what choices and possibilities might lie ahead. But it was just that sorry, it was just this state of pure potential that existed before the universe was created. All you can do now is relax into nothingness, fall into the silence between the words, watch this gap between the outgoing and the incoming breath, and treasure each empty moment of the experience. Something sacred is about to be born. So it's that moment before, it's fear, it's, you know, hesitation. What if I'm, my heart's going to be broken and, you know, I mean, thoughts racing. But ultimately, your way through that darkness is the light within, you know, that illumination within um, and trust, you know. Uh, this also represents birth as well. So there's this beautiful new beginning that has a potential of coming into your reality. Um, so just trust it, don't fight it, don't close off, don't fear it. 
And I also just kind of wanted to say, going back to this card, um, there was, you know, the, the Big Bang um, is a common theory in terms of how the universe was created. Um, so I'm not a big believer in the Big Bang. You know, that has more to do, to do with creation, creationism. So we are infinite. We were not created and we cannot be destroyed. Um, so, you know, this is that state. We will always exist. We will always be and have always been. Um, you know, so, yeah, I just kind of wanted to mention that, um, you know, I believe in uh, vortex-based math, and that's the Taurus um, is the universe. So things are recycled. The, you know, the, the um, energy is recycled, just like birth and death. But we never truly die. We never, you know, the universe was not born. It's always been. It's just electromagnetism and the way it's interacting. Um, but that energy is always recycled. It cannot be destroyed or created, right? <laughs> Very basic fundamental principles of um, the world. And the Big Bang actually goes against that idea. Um, so, being in that rested state, the now, so there is um, mirroring happening here. So the feminine used her intuition to get her out of the goblin forest, and now the masculine is being tested in the same way. Okay, so foundation. Ooh, stuck in the mud. I meant to pull the feminine masculine energies, but since I was guided to do this, the foundation will do that. Okay, so the grounded energy but shared between the two sides is being stuck in the mud. So, you know, although it might have felt that way, there, there was movement forward. Um, you know, it's that kind of stall um, stuckedness, but in reality, there is movement. Okay, so let me read that for you. Number 24. Also, Plasma Universe. Check that out as well. And String Theory. Um, subdivision, I think, F Theory. Okay. Stuck in the Mud. You're being invited to stop and savor the wonder of life. Becoming stuck is sometimes the only way to trick yourself into slowing down and looking around you. In fact, this is a sign that you need to shift your focus away from what you're, what you're doing and place your attention elsewhere. Struggling will only get you, um, get you to even muddier places. Now is not the time to move forward, but to observe. Clarity about your circumstances will come a little later. Stop and find the joy in what you've been overlooking. Soon you'll be out of the mud, but for now, be still and know that spirit has a plan for you. There we go. Repeated theme, be still, right? Um, and trust in destiny. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card for the feminine. Knight of Wands and Mask Blue. Okay, two came out for the masculine. Here's that King of Swords again. He always shows up in the Twin Flame readings. It's crazy. Um, okay, so the feminine is bringing in the Knight of Wands. That is not standing still. <laughs> not at all. So the feminine is ready for that go light. She's waiting for that light to turn green and then she's gone, right? Um, so although you are in that still state you're there's this volcano that is building up below um so you know that's a blast out of the gate it's a movement directed forward unstoppable towards your destiny towards your your dream now this is wand so it's spirituality so you're ready to go at any time you're ready to take that leap of faith that theme is continually being repeated um you're ready, but ultimately, you know, a decision to actually go, to take that step into the unknown will be required. Even though you are open, ready to do it, actually doing it is completely different. Okay, so um, 
Yeah, look at you jumping out of that mud. You're like, say ya. Okay, so um, the masculine got the King of Swords and the Moon card. Now, the King of Swords could represent an air sign, uh, and this could represent a fire sign. Um, for some reason, I feel naked without the bigger card behind it. Weird, I know. Okay, so the King of Swords. Um, so this is mental clarity. This is knowing what you want, knowing your truth and being unwavering. Um, so he is the decision maker and he has the ability to communicate. And um, so he'll, um, you know, tell you like it is. Uh, you ask him a question and he will answer, answer it the best way that he can. Um, so this is a card of action as well, but it is, you know, formulating a plan, um, a strategy, and then putting that plan into action. Um, so what I'm seeing here is during the stuckedness, there was m mental clarity. Um, you know, a, a choice was made, right? So a choice to be free. Um, now this card usually represents being emotionally detached. So not allowing your emotions to, um, to, you know, overpower you. However, we see that happening in the future, right? It is these fears that were left un, you know, that were left hidden um, beneath the surface that creeps up on him in the future. So this is a warning to you guys. So the moon card is just that, like I said, it is um, fears, the shadow side. Um, it is, um, you know, the ego the ugly side of yourself that you hide from the public. Um, it is, you know, very animalistic, um, projected, um, you know, just nastiness. You know, it's things that were um, hidden that come to the surface. So it's an illumination. Um, you know, it is... Um, but also it's facing your fears, walking through that darkness. So while the masculine, you know, is in this pause, um, there's a lot of reflection, a lot of um, going within and sorting through, um, you know, your fears and, and uh, finding your truth. However, you know, there's still that warning to really fully release all your fears, all your doubts, and um, unstuck yourself, start moving forward, um, expand yourself, you know, don't constrict yourself, open up is what I keep hearing. Okay, so I'm going to pull a card, yeah, I'm going to use the Call It Baron Reed for the crowning energy. Then I'll use a John Holland for what the both aspects are bringing in, and then call it for the heart-centered energy. Okay, so crowning. This is not the way you usually do it, by the way. Okay, so golden palace. Um, so this is abundance. You know, um, this is the ten of pentacles. So, um, and it also kind of represents home. Okay, Golden Palace as a crowning energy shared between both aspects. There is always enough. The Golden Palace card represents good fortune, ambitions fulfilled, wealth, and prosperity. It may also indicate emotional fulfillment, as perhaps you're entering a time of happiness that is long overdue. The message here is that self-worth isn't measured by what you have, no matter how abundant your life is. Instead, it comes from what you are, how authentically you're living your life, and how much love you're willing to share. Granted, receiving this card does indicate material gain and a furthering of tangible reward, but things come and go, and knowing the true value leads to even greater riches now. Shared, share the wealth. So, you know, there's that Six of Pentacles energy again, sharing your wealth, and same thing with the Queen of Pentacles. She shares, she's open. And that will bring that Ten of Pentacles into your reality. So, you know, 
more good fortune is coming um, on both aspects, on both sides. Okay, so one card for the feminine, ten of swords, and one for the masculine. Whoa. Interesting. Okay, so in order to fully embrace or open that, you know, channel for prosperity, for abundance come in, both aspects need to finally end something. Um, so the Ten of Swords, another completion, right? Major completions in, in the feminine's future. So this is an ending to uh, the dark night of the soul. So this is the feeling of being stabbed in the back over and over again and being left for dead. There's nobody around to help you. It's like a very painful state. Um, so it, there's an ending to that. Um, but because it's a 10, it means it's in the process of ending. So I'm very surprised to see this card here. Now, you know, this card could also represent the feminine needing to completely cut the masculine out of her life. You know, there's still attachments. Um, you know, here we have her waiting by the door, <laughs> you know, uh, waiting for her long lost love to come back. So that's an attachment. And, um, you know, there's, we have the Ten of Wands in the future. This is being caught in the machine, but it's an ending to that. So there is that final piece, that final ending in the future, um, but it requires you to take action and completely cut all ties, whatever you expect to happen um, must be cut away, right? It is an expansion, it's not a focus on what you need or want, um, and it's freedom, you know, you never have to think these thoughts again, um, instead abundance will enter your life. Now on the masculine side he got the devil, so this is a chain. Um, this is something linking you to uh, an attachment in the 3D world. Um, so this is a codependent relationship, an addiction, or even just self-limiting beliefs, feeling that you're not good enough, like you don't have enough to offer. Um, you know, it's all these fears creeping up, um, self-doubt, um, you know. So basically... You need to take those scissors and cut that away. And you will be doing that because the hermit is in your future position. This is somebody who detaches and finds their freedom. Um, so I do see that, you know, especially with the tower there. It's major destruction. But there's, you know, after the, the destruction, there's this questioning. Oh, my God, did I do the right thing? Um, well, be the, the, the high priest rise above, expand, you know, don't allow the devil to continue to pull you back in and chain you down. Um, so in order to gain your freedom, you need, to, you both need to, rela uh, to release. All right, so I'm just gonna move this over for a second. Um, so for what is the feminine bringing into the union? Conflict and defeat, five of swords. So it's not engaging in negative thoughts, conflict, arguing, um, negative behavior. It's walking away from that. Um, so it's a struggle. You are, you know, it, you're coming out of the goblin forest and you're, you feel like you're being tested and it's weighing on you. Um, you know, and it could also be an energy of the feminine um, wanting to walk away from the union. Um, you know, just allowing what to be to be and not feeling like they need to control the situation. So it's a detachment as well. So let's pull a confirmation. There's that Six of Cups again. Very nice. Oh, Heart Chakra. Awesome. Very nice. Six of Wands. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So you did what I just told you to do. Cut away that, that attachment. And it's confirmation that I was on the right track here. So the Six of Cups, past position, same card. It's having an attachment to the past, to memories, um, you know, and not being able to let go of it completely. 
So that is what I'm seeing here. You actually letting go, finally detaching from it, even though it's a hard thing to do to walk away from it. It's necessary. Um, the heart chakra center position, you are in a space of unconditional love. Okay. And when you, when you're in an open space, that love is, you know, comes to you. It's that same energy exchange. If you give love, it'll come back. It's just being, you know, in this open loving space, not expecting it, not desiring it, not wanting it, because it's clearly not helping at all, okay? So detachment is important, and you will do that. The Six of Wands is success and victory. You become the rock star. Um, you know, you step into this position where you are being recognized. So this could be, you know, pursuing your higher calling. Um, and it seems to me like that's what happens, right, with all this illumination in your future. And the queen as well. You, you, there's this grounded energy, success, victory, and abundance for you to be, for you to have. It's just... You need to release no more negative thoughts, no more being drawn into this, you know, longing, needing that connection in your life. If you're just open um, to love without expectation, attachment, or, you know, desire, then um, you allow spirit to work with you. Okay, what does the masculine bring into the union? Temptation, there's that devil, same card. Um, so, like I said, in the future, there's a detachment. In the future, the feminine is also detaching. Okay, make that choice. Let the masculine go, let the attachments go, and that will, you know, um, bring in that final peace and that abundance. So, temptation, this um, is you know, a heavy chain, it's massive energy because it's in the main position card here. This was just a confirmation, you know, it's something that he needed to release, but now it's in the forefront here. This is what he's bringing into the, to the union. Um, so either he's finding his freedom from, um, you know, that codependent relationship, or he is also detaching from any expectations that he has to this uh, connection. So let's see, Seven of Cups, Page of Cups, and <laughs> the Queen of No Fucks Given, awesome. Okay, so past position, Seven of Cups, confusion, having a lot of cho choices, a lot of options, um, not knowing which one to choose, but quite obviously he follows his heart because um, he chooses freedom and he chooses love. Uh, so the Page of Cups, present position, this is messages of love, wanting to communicate your love to the Queen of Wands, who is the object of your desire. Uh, so this is the muse, someone who inspires you. Um, so there's a lot of creative, you know, energy and love bubbling up un under the surface, right? And it's it's activating him. It's It's giving him not strength, but it is making him realize the difference between an illusion and a chain and, you know, that which is true love. Um, oh my God, I'm not seeing any car, any, oh, here we go, okay. That's true love. That's what true love looks like, unconditional love, okay? So there's no expectations, no nothing. And uh, so that's what you, the masculine, desire is the true love. And he, you want that new beginning. You want to express yourself. And, but you realize that you need to release that chain, whatever is holding you back. Like I said, you do. So don't let fear hold you back, okay? Um, the Queen of Wands is in the future position. So again, that's the object of his desire. Um, he is the king of wands, very powerful, um, spiritual, a leader, very charismatic, uh, free-spirited energy here. So, um, 
yeah so this is very passionate energy as well um, so yeah all right so I'm going to do the heart centered energy talisman so it's a journey it's you know you are both being represented as the, the hermit in the future position uh, so you've already gained a lot of wisdom and, and knowledge on your journey and especially since you're you know the feminine is coming in as a high priestess uh, so you know you're both on this journey together right hand in hand one step at a time and you will arrive at your destination um, it's just you know using your life lessons um, not to make the same mistakes over and over again okay so number 49 Okay, the talisman. A lesson truly learned is crystallized as earned wisdom. You have all you need for su the success you seek. Wisdom allows you to recognize traps on the road and familiar patterns that you want to avoid. It also enables you to quickly gather information about where you are on the journey. It helps you recognize your allies and know how to find the best routes along the way. Now you're at a place where you know the right things to do and the best choices to make. You really can't commit a mistake. Whatever your inquiry, great fortune awaits you, for you have the wisdom to arrive at the right decision. You've learned your lessons and earned the right to your, succe your success. So there's a sense that you guys are both coming together. Um, and, you know, um, it's been a long journey. It's been exhausting. But you're both overcoming. And like I said, there's this sense of a climatic moment um, and once you've reached that point uh, where you need to make that decision um, you know I feel that you both choose love uh, so this is just represents the journey okay to you know from being stuck to coming home which is what you both desire um, so one card for the feminine. Wow, ten of cups, masculine, five of swords. Um, so this is a feeling that you're not good enough. Again, it's kind of reflective of the devil here. Um, you know, it, it's a fear that negative uh, energy. Um, I just realized that the Five of Swords is what the Feminine is bringing in. Okay, so this is the same card. Um, the Feminine energy is walking away, whereas the Five of Swords for the Masculine, it's finger pointing. Um, so, you know, this is, uh, could be the, the devil, you know, whispering in your ear, telling you you're not good enough and that kind of thing. So it's um, really giving him the fire uh, under his butt to get the hell out of a negative situation, right? So his motivation is to retreat from negative while the feminine is on a journey to the Ten of Cups, which is this blissful moment. You know, it's peace, harmony, massive abundance of love. And so it's a happily ever after, okay? So the motivation is a little different, but, you know, it's just reflective of the point that each side is at on their journey. You know, there's more of a 5D connection here um, that needs to be released, which will ultimately, you know, move them away from a negative situation. I just want to go back to the Seven of Swords here. This also represents kind of sneaking away at night and not dealing with the situation head on. And it's because of fear of having your heart broken. Okay, so again, that energy can creep up on you. If you're not dealing with a situation in an honorable way, it will come back. Um, so, you know, there's a feeling that you both are retreating from negative. Um, and I feel a movement towards the feminine uh, while the feminine, well, actually you both are. It's almost like the, the both sides are kind of, um, going to their own corners, 
for now and they will meet up on uh, you know that faded point in the future okay so um, overall energy wow choose wisely and I'm saying why wow because uh, where these cards the reading that I just finished doing had the sequence of cards with this as an overall energy so um, it really goes to show how this you know is a collective struggle that we are all going through we're all feeling confused which way do I go I don't know which one to choose you know um, a lot of self doubt a lot of fear um, but the message to this card is to go within and use your heart to guide you but it's you know we can see that there's you know both sides are at, on this precipice they're both in this meditative state um, and you know it's that stuck itness that moment um, to really consider all your options and uh, which you know means release detachment and in that detachment in that stillness you will find the answers that you've been looking for okay so I'm going to pull two cards from Miss and Mermaids and I will read those to you so this will be final message from the universe okay for the feminine jellyfish portal very nice and the masculine tiger lily tiger nautilus interesting um, so this is, would be the divine feminine card um, so it is you know reaching out to a divine feminine in your environment so um, love is on his mind his um, you know the, the universe is telling him um, to not close off um, because the feminine is open-hearted you know she is the goddess of love and um, so not to fear is what I'm feeling from that and for this one the jellyfish portal it's all about surrendering and allowing the current uh, to take you where you need to go um, so it is a surrender a release and that's what I'm seeing so it's it's a stillness which you will be stepping into okay so let me read those to you oh sorry about that 19 okay jellyfish portal let life take us unassuming yielding to the ebb and flow no hurries no worries we've no need to scurry the current will lead us where we need to go um, a deep dwelling mermaid watches passively as a smack of ice blue jellyfish flutter by carried by the ocean current their brilliant luminosity brings light to an otherwise darkened scene the meaning go with the flow you have been fighting and struggling with your present situation without making much progress it is time to take a page from the jellyfish book and allow things to take their natural course although they have the capability to move independently jellyfish tend to allow themselves to drift along with the currents of the ocean trusting the process not fighting what is do the same and you may find yourself a more content relaxed and peace peaceable person even if you wind up somewhere you never expected to be so that there's that you know surrender that I was talking about just allow the current to take you um, okay so number four okay so tiger lily tiger nautilus oh tiger lily my goddess my grace a vision like you stops a soul in its place such queenly compassion such posture and poise lets me know in an instant you're unlike the boy so supple symmetrical shapely and smooth such balance and ease in the way that you move your smile is of mercy your manner of tact your beauty apparent in each tender act what love and kind charity shines on your face oh tiger lily my goddess my grace so the f divine masculine is really seeing the feminine as you know you know in her divinity and it's it's you know what I'm feeling is that self-doubt am I good enough you know do I have enough to offer you know so don't close off okay 
A graceful young woman bedecked by bright tiger lilies tenderly holds the shell of a tiger nautilus close to her bosom. Her choice of adornment is reflective of her feminine beauty and elegant style. Embrace your femininity. The feminine power is radiance that shines from women and girls who are securely anchored within their bodies and souls. Full of tenderness, love and beauty and grace, the feminine power is soft yet strong. Now is the time to welcome this power. It is your right to be beautiful inside and out. Awaken the queen inside you and let it blossom. Let her blossom. Not a woman, not a problem. Look for the opportunity to get closer to woman in your life, be it your mother, sister, lover, or wife. Try looking through her eyes to help you get in touch with your feminine side and allow her spirit and compassion to influence, influence uh, sup, some upcoming decisions. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, you know, using love, kindness, compassion um, in order to deal with a, dis, a decision, right? Releasing attachments and doing it from a kind space. Um, so yeah, it's all about lessons learned, right? Learn from your past. And uh, yeah. All right. So um, let me know if this resonated. I welcome your comments and I read them all. Um, also, let me know um, what your thoughts are on me switching gears, doing more, you know, general readings. I was guided to do the Twin Flame. I just kind of it just happened that way so um so now i'm looking to expand um so i'm re relating very much with um the masculine side actually more so than the feminine um but anyway yeah let me know and uh, like i said if you want to book a reading i'm i'm probably gonna book until sunday when is that uh, is that the ninth i can't remember but, um, yeah, till Sunday. So let me know. All right. Peace and love, guys. Cheers.